friends, if there's something that yeah. is here, we welcome Archie. We have about five minutes to come. Yeah, maybe yeah. 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 Okay, please kindly. Yes, yes. Uh, program is going to start like this immediately. We'll start with the Give it to wish much. Give it to uh, now, this is Vishnadam, our beloved member. Now, I'm going out, outside. So, why blend up? He may come up anytime. I got to see a very, very strong support from Vishnadamji and Narsimhaji. How much uh, it's very difficult to say. Uh, this will start coming. Uh, Mr. Markande, suppose Markande is a senior most person, 88 years. He will give a bouquet of flowers to our chief judge of India. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Our Adish Ji will give a bouquet of flowers to Karpaka Vinayagam, sir. Mm -hmm. Your image is very high, Lordship. Uh, wherever I was saying, I mean, all over India, our message went in the worldwide also. The Golden Era in Supreme Court, sir. Yes, it's the Golden Era in Supreme Court. Okay. We'll give a small moment to our Lord Sir, so, on behalf of Friday group. Intentionally, it has been open so that nobody came. <laughs> oh. oh, so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. It has a 450 years back. There is a plague disease in Hyderabad. That time in their memorial, they, this was built. What I have in other uh, versions also going. This is the uh, most recent. Thank you so much. Sesu, if you use my arrow. Uh, 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 this is our uh, uh, 200 Friday group meeting. In, the, in fact, celebration is uh, because of that. We are uh, four well wishing. I do tense, little bit honestly. <laughs> He, this is the ninth year, so more than 28,000 uh, viewers we have, more than 30 lakh subscribers, uh, 28,000 subscribers, viewers we have in our YouTube channel. We have our own Friday group YouTube channel. It's all over India. In the Google set, you are popular not only in India, in Russia and America and Mauritius and other parts of London. Uh, they themselves sent to me, hey. And we are overwhelmed with this thing. And few people, they cross the Aishwarya party, uh, cross more than one lakh via our own video and pop so that was the part so. And if this Nagaratna video already 80,000, it was crossed. That's on section six into success tag. Wonderful, it's a uh, meeting and other thing. It is now a uh, request to Lordship will say. So that, I mean, after this, we have a sweeps also, not to write. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have one more this thing. We just come I in because of Vishwanathan serious advice to our Friday group personally to me. So you launch a website. Uh, Lordship is going to launch our website, FridayGroup.in. Just come. 
no one. Now this is our website. So just click on this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't plan. We don't plan. Okay. ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದ್ರೆಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ Listen, I, I request Vishwanath will say a few words before Chief says some amen. Honorable uh, Chief Justice of India, Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, Mr. Seshagiri Rao, the live wire behind uh, the Friday group meetings, distinguished senior members of the bar, distinguished members, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it uh, gives me immense pleasure to welcome the Honorable Chief Justice who I must say, in spite of his uh, very busy schedule, I don't have to tell you because it is a... Uh, you are aware uh, of the judicial work, the administrative work, and the, uh, you know, the meetings that he addresses, uh, not only within the country, uh, but outside. But what has fascinated me, Chief, is, and I uh, say it out of genuine admiration that uh, Every time you take up uh, an assignment, uh, it is your personal input and each speech has been different. <laughs> I've been uh, uh, fortunate like many of you to hear uh, some of them live, many of them on the uh, YouTube for a large number of years and uh, topics of uh, seminal importance. And it's been very gracious of you that uh, you were able to take out time today to inaugurate a milestone uh, event in uh, the Friday group. And uh, this Friday group is a study circle. It started as a study circle, but uh, today it has uh, uh, become a, virtually an institution for uh, continuous uh, legal education. Uh, abroad, you have CLE credits, uh, uh, which every lawyer has to acquire. But uh, here, while the judges have the Judicial Academy, these are the, uh, uh, you know, the Friday groups and study circles, which keep the continuing education going. And if you see the topics uh, and the, you know, the people who have addressed uh, uh, the topics of importance and uh, it's been constantly updated, they've added uh, intellectual property, competition, taxation uh, to their uh, menu of uh, topics. So I think today you're all waiting to uh, hear the Honorable Chief Justice and uh, without uh, wasting much of time uh, and after once again thanking him on behalf of the Friday group, because I consider myself part of this. Uh, And my thank Dr. Narasimha, I've been also personally following up, I've been following up, and uh, I would request the Honorable Chief Justice to uh, address very briefly. Uh, when I approached Lordship uh, to Narasimha and Vishwanathan, they said very clearly it should be in the library too. It might be less, it should not be too long, because uh, it's time and measures, very important, because all over international pressure, all over India, administratively, I thought it was international history. And I say, I use a word in poetry in Telugu Lordship. Ganga Govu Palu Karate Daimano Chal. Mean, Ganga Kinareka, Nadika Kinareka, Gaika Yek Chamach Bhi. Boon. In the end of the day, he will make a smile and his presence will give everything to Friday Group. It's a new energy now. First time this month, for the corridors and ladies bar and everyone. I'm highly grateful. I, I, I request Mr. Subodh Bhargav before I want to say one or two, one minute. It was very fascinating to see. Thank you. I request that for when I, what, one minute, sir. <laughs> I didn't know that. In my humble pronouns to the Lotus Feet of Bhagavan Sai Baba. Honorable Chief Justice, Honorable Justice, Mr. Nandri, this uh, library has become a house, house full, full house, because it's a family house. And the point is, who is a great, great man? Yes, Loka is there. Nagarmana Prachayatanena Yahe Naike Amradutho Nakshu. Who is a great man? Nagarmana Rigveda. Nagarmana. Is that man of karma? No. 
Naprajaya, man of masses? No. Ganena, man of money? No. Then who is the great man? Great man, Yage Neke Amrit Pamanashu. Selfless work. At 200 we have come only because of selfless work of Theatre Vidav. Theatre Vidav has to accentuate it. And they come from a very good family, independent, independence fighters, freedom fighters, and all. He has uh, made so many achievements in this uh, radio group and all. He is something great. And everybody is helpful to others. That's man. Shri Rao, R means responsibility, A means ability, O means obliging. That's how. So we have to appreciate him. And the point is, where you are is not important. What you are is important. What you are is not important. What you do is important. What you do is not important. How you do is important. How you do is not important. What you do must reach those for whom you do is very, very important. That is what uh, Chief Justice Chandra Chur tells. Does whatever he preaches, he practices. So we have to appreciate him. And uh, you see the beautiful smile. Oh, Even <laughs> all that is smile. That's what, you know, smile means yes, some I L E. It's got a sweet message in the expression. <laughs> he is helping everyone. He's very when he come out of the court, all become public. So the body river private waters not to help others. And uh, how yield means not help the others. So the body, completely body, the organ, every organ is purposeful. Prime, prime minister, ice law minister, nose law, health minister, tooth industries minister, and uh, lungs home minister, and uh, heart finance minister, and stomach agriculture, food and fertilizer minister. <laughs> every transport minister, every <laughs> department in your body, please help. All Thank you, Sai Thank you very much, Justice Kapoor sir. Thank you, Adish Bhai, you are here. Thank you, Rai sir, for Joshi sir, and other Justice Basan sir is also here. Nagamoto sir is also here, and Justice Murli dhar is also present. So other prominent senior members are also here. I, I will heartily on behalf of Friday group and appreciating your presence. Yeah, Secretary Pandeji is also here. Continuously since Suri onward 2015, all SCBA, President, Vice President, Secretary, continuously I'm getting support. They never question. There are, that's one thing. And speakers also, they never say no to for coming and saying uh, their own choice topic. Except that they talk, this week I may be busy, we give me an opportunity to next week. That's it. Otherwise, that's the one thing I enjoyed. Otherwise, I would have not completed. That's it. Now, over to uh, previous attendees. Give a huge clap. Good afternoon, Namaste. My very erudite and distinguished colleague, Justice Vishwanathan, uh, Mr. Sheshkiri Rao. President of the SCBA and office bearers, the vice president, secretary of LPBA, of the distinguished senior members of the bar and friends. This is really quite an overwhelming occasion to be speaking at a moment like this. 200 lectures of the Friday group. This is an unprecedented achievement. And Mr. Sheshagiri Rao told us about the statistics, but I had otherwise memorized them <laughs> on the way to the court this morning. Over 7,000, almost 8,000 lawyers who have appeared, who have signed the register. They've uh, attended the meetings. 28,000 subscribers, 13 lakh viewers. I take it that the 28,000 subscribers only subscribe without paying. <laughs> 13 lakh viewers, a YouTube channel independently reaching out to countries across the world, the US, UK, Mauritius, Russia. Just amazing. I mean, it's just an indicator of what one individual can do to change the face of the profession. But I thought I should summarize what has been achieved by Mr. Sheshkiri Rao by saying that what was an initiative 
has now become an institution. I'm happy that I've been called only for this uh, little 200th lecture uh, meeting and not to deliver a speech myself on any substantive area of law. If I were to deliver a speech on a very substantive area of law, I would be a little worried because this is the house of experts. <laughs> and the judge of the Supreme Court, I think, is not exactly an expert because you deal with everything from bail to banking, from the Indian Penal Court to the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, from income tax to IGST, and from consumer protection to the Civil Procedure Code. But this is truly the house of experts. And I think the importance of these initiatives, as Brother Vishwanathan said, is that it provides a measure of continuing legal education for lawyers. We do not have a structured process of legal education as we do in the judiciary, namely the state judicial academies. And therefore, these kind of initiatives, I believe, have a very vital role to play. Also, there is a certain degree of camaraderie when people come to associate with each other on Friday. You can have the same thing in maybe some other venue outside, and I'm sure you'd be able to do the same thing as well. But in the crowded library space of our own bar room, surrounded by the books, surrounded by the portraits of the greats who have come to this bar, there is some special significance about these meetings. So even though we are all clustered together, huddling together here, it's just a reminder of the unity of our profession. So as I see it, the Friday group is an initiative and an institution, as I said, which has its value in different layers. At a certain degree, at a certain level, the first layer is, of course, of lawyers congregating together, sharing a space. So often in the busy lives which we lead, it's very difficult for us to share space. Spouses don't share space. Juniors and juniors and seniors don't have the time to share space. But these are some of the hard realities of our time. So at a certain level, we are sharing space here in the course of the Friday group. At another layer, and a more deeper layer, we are inviting the best in the legal profession, the best minds in the legal profession to share their accumulated learning and knowledge, their practical experience of the unfolding of the law. It's not just about conceptual legal doctrine, but how conceptual law, legal doctrine becomes a source of justice, or for that matter, sometimes injustice in our courts. Because how the law unfolds depends on who wields the law. In the hands of wise lawyers, the law becomes a potent tool of justice. In the hands of compassionate judges, it becomes a potential for justice. But if you shed the wisdom of the bar and the compassion of the judge, the law can be a source of grave injustice. So the chasm between justice and injustice in that sense in the law is not very deep or very wide. And it is for us who wield the law, whether as lawyers or as judges or critiques of the work which courts do, that the bridge between justice and injustice is truly bridged in the court. That's the second level, the second layer. The third layer, I believe, is in looking at the present and the future of the legal profession. How do we ensure that we leave the world a better place? In the book which I read by a Nobel laureate while delivering a lecture at Stanford University, he was suffering from a terminal ailment. And he said in the course of his lecture that you can never change the hand which you have been dealt with, but you can certainly change the way you can play the hand in a game of cards. And speaking for myself, I always begin my day by asking myself that if this indeed were to be the last day of my life, have I left the world a slightly better place than it was when I got out of bed in the morning? And if we were to apply that test to what Sheshikari Rao has been doing, 
I'm sure each one of your Friday lectures has left the world a much better place than it began before this. I'm so I'm so happy that we are documenting what you are doing. Of course, everything is documented electronically when you are on YouTube, because what you say here is conveyed far beyond these halls. I must also share with you that though I've missed out on the opportunity of coming and sharing space here, I've logged into the Friday group lectures, particularly to remind myself of the limits of my own knowledge. <laughs> Uh, so, Mr. Shashidip ji, uh, I want to congratulate you on this occasion. I want to congratulate everyone across in the bar who has made this a success because it's through the collective efforts of everybody who values what he is doing that this has become a success. You don't only need a good guru, but you need good disciples as well. I'm not sure he'll be a little embarrassed if I called him a guru, but you have in that sense been a teacher for the members of the bar, and I'm sure your initiatives now can be replicated across India by different bars, whether it's the Taluka bars, whether it is the district bars, the high court bars. And I think that these lectures would also enable a lot of young lawyers who do not have access to legal resources to sharpen their skills, to learn new ideas about the law to have people who are contributing on a daily basis to the evolution of law to share their knowledge and to enable to enable others to do well. So with a promise that this was not intended to, and thankfully not intended to be a lecture on any specific area of law, but just a presence to compliment you and everyone who has been associated with this initiative, the Supreme Court Bar Association above all, because the executive committee of the SCBI is always so welcoming of these initiatives. They don't hold the space of the bar library close to their chest. They share it with others. I always tell people around me that it is in sharing knowledge that knowledge really quadruples and multiplies. Knowledge is something which is never reduced by sharing. Knowledge only multiplies by sharing. Because when you share knowledge between people, the collective effort of those people who are receiving and disseminating knowledge is far greater than the actual knowledge which is being imparted on that occasion. Because knowledge kindles ideas, and that's what judging is all about. You get an idea from a lawyer. Very often, the lawyer will feel that the judge is disconnected. He's not or she is not paying attention to page number 665 which the lawyer is reading. The reason is because something which the lawyer has said has rekindled a completely different idea in the mind of the judge. So knowledge has a way of replicating, of multiplying itself and leading into new paths of discovery, growth and vision. So with, I'll conclude with that by hoping that the Friday group will continue to do this amazing work and will develop into new pathways of discovery, knowledge and vision for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Matthew. I have your words, the way you energize the entire group. How many people can you raise? So, energize, can you raise your hands? <laughs> Thank you very much. Let us give a standing ovation you. to Lord Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. Lord Chief and Vishnuji, I am highly grateful to you. You are always with us, Narsim and you. I am really, I am missing Narsim, but yes, he's traveling so, today. He is traveling. He is finishing his boat. Yeah. Can you distribute sweets? I mean, Iska bhi katwana chahiye. Not a problem. <laughs> not so much. Oh, nice because I've become a vegan, so I'm not eating uh, milk sweets, but I'll have the region of health. Now become a vegan at that. So much of so many sweets, I'm in that. Yeah, sir. Are Rahul? Can you?
takes are given, these stake here and others can distribute. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you, you. Thank, you. thank you. I still remember visiting your home and when I came for Justice Charles wearing an in I've been born with at your place.